श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम the superimposed can never influence the substrata superimpose is the directions are superimpose on the space therefore north is good south is bad all these things do not apply to the space because the directions are merely superimposed similarly the snake which is superimposed on the rope that snake cannot make the rope poisonous similarly the husband is superimposed on the man therefore husband can never touch the man and yet the husbands are miserable so what can you do our condition is like the bird we sees its own reflection and start <coughs> fighting with that reflection therefore <coughs> our essential nature is atah swatmani vishranti tu ahanta pararupini we are essentially untouched by all that is superimposed on ourselves and this is possible only when we discard the limitations of otherness from our knowledge so ie me vahi maya kya shakti param durghata adarsh vadya swarupe chideka rupini like the mirror make the thing appear to be many but itself it never becomes many up to here we have seen yesterday satyapi aneka vaichitre bhasane yena vibhasate tatha bhasana kale pi swarupat anivartanam therefore when this absolute conscious blissful existence appears to have become many this word appears to have become is more important how it becomes more see the same reality with the conditioning of the name and the form is called as the world the same reality with the conditioning of the pancha koshas is called as the jiva the soul the same reality with the conditioning of the maya is called as ishvara apply subjectively the same man with the conditioning of the father is called as son the same man with the conditioning of the wife is called as husband he has never become many manyness is only superimposed see it is not real this is all what we have to learn so we have to play different roles but instead of recognizing this we feel i am miserable so sati api aneka vaichitre abhasane na vivasate tatha bhasana kale pi swarupat anivartanam and the, although as a husband i am miserable but that time also swarupat as a man i am happy see again and again we have to insist this who is miserable <coughs> so we'll come to know the one who is miserable doesn't exist see and this can be seen in this world like you know these days uh, pre nuptial contracts are there 
before marriage whatever i had you have no right on them when you divorce that means the marriage is um, naturally culminating into divorce so when the um, divorce happens where the wife goes or where the husband goes and they are staying together now only he is my ex husband she is my ex wife where they are gone so this non existing entities they are with them now what sadhana you have to do tell me pranayam yoga sirshasan charity going to holy places taking a dip in ganges when this is told it is so easy we start doubting how it can be so easy people are going to the forest they are doing tapasya standing in the ganges and doing the japa om namo shivaya om namo shivaya and this will is nothing i think he doesn't know <laughs> because we are complicated we don't like straight simple things so परिच्छेदावभासो यहासो अनात्मा भासो उच्चते सा विद्या जड़ शक्ति सा च शून्य प्रकृते एव अत्यंत अभाव आकाश समा प्रथम सर्ग का सर्व तदेव संप्रोक्त परिच्छेदन आदि काम सो परिच्छेद अवभासो यहा द इम्पोजिशन ऑफ लिमिटेशंस ऑन द इन्फिनेट there are three limitations which are imposed on the infinite by which the infinite is reduced to the finite and the three limitations are time space and object if we discard even one of them the other two will automatically go see for example object body this is my weight whenever we talk about weight it is object whenever we talk about age it is time whenever we talk about our size it is desh space one of them you reject for example we reject that imposition of time then what will happen you will not talk about your past old people have this pathetic joke can you guess what is my age and then you tell them oh you are um 81 years young oh. they don't say old they don't feel i am old so what is happening aaj paaj ki jadi the one who is experiencing is beyond time but his association with the body therefore 81 years just we don't have to do anything therefore one of the important spiritual practice is don't bring your past in the present that's it see therefore parichhed avabhaso yaha saha anatma bhaso uchchate from there anatma bhasa that i am not starts happening so when i take this body i am then the other body i am not so when i am in australia i am not in india now this is 2018 it is not uh, 1948 see friends therefore here the teacher says the sa avidya jada shakti this is what is called as ignorance ignorance means incomplete knowledge i am body is not the problem see only this body i am and other bodies i am not the problem begins just imagine if it happens right hand i eat left hand i don't eat therefore right hand i am left hand i am not 
Now apply this thing further. He is my son. He is not my son. Samsara begins. So, association with the finite, without logic and reason, is Jada Shakti Maya Avidya. And you see, all the people are miserable only on account of this. Therefore, <coughs> this Parichedaha Sa Avidya Jada Shakti Sacha Shunya Prakruti Eva. This is what is called as Shunya in Kashmiri Shaivaism or Siddha Marga or Prakruti in the Sankhya. It is the one and the same thing. Then, Atyanta Bhava Akashastamaha Prasama Sarga Kaha. Then from this Maya Shakti, Avidya, the world starts being created. And what is the first step in creation? Atyanta Abhava. See? It's a question of only very subtle awareness. All of us experience absence. Because our attention is on the absence, we miss ourselves. <clears throat> How there are so many of you here. You are many because of what? Because in between you, there is nobody. There is nothing. So I am actually experiencing first the space because of which many things are appearing. But we just bypass that. See? Because where we are, we are identified with the body. So the objects only become primary for us. Therefore, here the first is Atyanta Abhava Akashas Tamaha. And is, then we say, oh, there is nothing in between. Are Baba, if there is nothing, you are there, no? Who knows that there is nothing? Therefore, this technique which I told you, make absence as an object of experience. So that which is existing in the absence is you. So, first there was child body. Now, child body is absent. But you are still there, no? Then there was a teenage body. There were you. Now, teenage body is absent, but you are there. See? So, our being is not opposed to presence as well as absence. This unopposed existence is our essential nature. So, Atyanta Bhava Akashastama Prasama Sarga Kaha Sarvam Tadeva Samproktam Parichedanam Adikam And from this space alone, the whole world is created. Then, Ramayaha Paripurnatma Vishramo Vai Samastita Tasse Ekadeshata Bhranti Krutam Akasha Masanam. In fact, <coughs> see, there are certain words which are used commonly, but if you see, those words are wrong words. When we say, God is all pervading, so what has happened? All has become the substance. And God has gone into them. Like the space perv uh, pervades all the directions. That means directions are the reality. And space has gone into that. Or the gold permeates all the ornaments. That means <clears throat> ornaments are the reality. Gold has gone into it. Similarly, God is everywhere. That means everywhere is reality. Poor God has gone into that. See, when we say the God is beyond time, that means time is reality, it is beyond the time. No, that is not the meaning. The meaning is <coughs> on the gold, names and forms are superimposed 
therefore they are called as the ornaments on the space the relationship between sun and the earth is superimposed therefore they are called as the directions see on the infinite time the movement of the planets is superimposed therefore the seconds minutes hours days and nights are created therefore the meaning is god is all pervading means in this infinite the multiplicity is superimposed that is the meaning but instead of taking that as the meaning we go on talking the same thing without understanding therefore na ramayah paripurnatma vishramo vai samastitah so hey parshuram ji this infinite self that we are it is all by itself the days come and go we are not pervading the body the body is in me we are not pervading the space the space is in me i am ever the same see therefore rama yah paripurnatma vishramo vai samastita tasya ek deshata bhranti krutam akasha vasanam but this infinite is now limited by the finite ek deshata here only i am there i am not now i am there earlier i was not this i am that i am not desha kal vastu time space and object this is called as ek deshata bhranti krutam akasha bhasanam and because of this the space is imagined to be created in the 6th chapter of panchadashi chitradeep there this topic is brought out very deep way very simple now if you look at my face you will see uh, two things what is the light which is generally illuminating the face and everything and second wherever there is a tight skin tip of the nose or the glasses somewhere there this light is reflected as one dot isn't it so where the light is reflected as one dot like i see on the tops of many people <laughs> i have covered my <laughs> so when they move like this thing that you know shining <laughs> so two lights so wherever there is special light attraction goes more see exactly the same way parmatma is everywhere but in the objects things and beings parmatma is reflected so general presence plus the specificity together makes the object more conspicuous than the divine presence see how clear it is and when the specific light has gone but the general remains it can't go anywhere see like you know my hand is moving on this hand there is a general light it doesn't go or come anywhere but if a particular angle is changed then the reflection spot it goes away in the same manner childhood has come and gone the general knowledge is the same childhood has gone but i am the same and that is why samanya satta the common denominator should be the point of attraction for ourselves therefore तस्य एक देशता भ्रांति कृतम आकाश भाषण अतः आत्म प्रदेशो यहाँ आत्मा अभिमति वर्जिता आकाश ए सही संभोक्ता संसार कारण देर फोर दैट वेयर द आई इज एक्सक्लूडेड दैट इज कॉल्ड ए स्पेस सो आई एम ओनली अप टू हियर बियॉन्ड एड आई एम नॉट सो वेयर द आई does not happen in this space 
देर फोर अतः आत्मा प्रदेशो यहाँ आत्मा अभिमति वर्जित सो वॉट इज माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस माइक आई एम नॉट दिस कैमेरा आई एम नॉट सो एंड सही संसार कारणम एंड फ्रॉम हियर द ड्यूएलिटी एंड द संसार बिगिन्स संसार मीन्स ए कॉन्स्टंट चेंजिंग फिनामिना इज कॉल्ड एज संसार संसरती इति संसारा and all the changes are possible only with reference to the unchanging principle so our attention is only on the changes not on the unchanging principle therefore aakasha sem prukta samsara karanam isha eva bhavit bhedah pashu drushte ka gochara therefore pashu here means ignorant jeeva pashu patinath see in our uh, nepal there is a temple pashupati nath pashu is jeeva pati is ishvara nath is on the parmatma jeeva ishvara are superimposed like father and son therefore as a creator he become the ishvara created he become the jeeva so esha eva bhavit bhedah pashu drushte ka gochara therefore those who are ignorant they are not able to understand this that it is the self which is unconditioned by time space and object and see that is why unknowingly we all know that no movement is meditation because movement is possible only there is a space this experiment you can do it and learn from that experiment <coughs> you take a water bottle fill it fully not even a bubble tighten it and move the bottle will the water move inside there is no place then empty it little bit let there be space in between and then move the bottle it will move the water will move is it not in the same manner wherever there is a movement there is a space so what is space emptiness what is emptiness something is lacking there and therefore the young healthy intelligent free boy thinks what a life without a wife wife is lacking in his life he is seeing all other fools so he start thinking let me get married there no reason is only the sense of incompleteness that the movement begins see so when we sit for meditation nobody even is required to tell they themselves oh, i should say do okay, keep meditation don't disturb no i am sitting for meditation why don't you run and do meditation no 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 you have to sit down see and then there should not be thoughts because thoughts come and go no thoughts means there no movement therefore samsara means wherever there are changes there is a movement in samsara space supports all the changes but space is not influenced by the change that is why the self the atma is none other than the space the only difference is space is an objective phenomena and self is the subjective experience therefore this bhuta akash chidak and chitta akash and chidakash these are very potent tools so आका एश एव भवेद भेदा पशु दृष्टे का गोचरा राम सूक्ष्म दृशा पश्य य आकाश त्वया इक्षते तत्र ते जीव राशि नाम आत्मा चैतन्य में वसा देर फॉर है परशु राम जी वॉट यू आर सींग एज ए स्पेस इज नथिंग बट परमात्मा एंड इन दिस परमात्मा देर आर मिलियंस ऑफ जीवाज 
like in the space, so many contents are there. In the same manner, in the one conscious space, all the beings are. And Tatra Jeeva Rashi Nama Atma Chaitanya Mevasa Yatha Anna Deheshu Akasho Bhasate Yasadatava. Like in all the bodies, it is the same space. In the same manner, Sa Eva Tesha Matma Satchidananda Ghanatmakaha. So, there is no difference on account of the differences that are perceived. Again and again, we have to become aware of this. And to become aware of this, there is only one way. <coughs> Give up struggle. We don't have to achieve anything in life. We are not in bondage. We don't seek liberation. Then why we are coming here? Your fault. Then why you are coming? Time pass. It is so strange. So, evam so kalpita kasha grastam chidvapustitam Tadeva mana ityuktam atmaiva nahi jetarat. Therefore, this absolute conscious existence, tachit ganatma kaha, eva so kalpita akasha grastam. So, this mind alone projects space. Remember, I told you, from the chitta akash comes the bhuta akash, the gross space. It must click one day. When we are in deep sleep, where is our position? Where are we? Zero. Because there is no space. And when the mind is again awake, then I am in Australia. So where is the total world? Starting from the space, only it is in the mind. Therefore, as I told you, the Krama Samvita is called as time. <clears throat> the sequence of events is called as time. And if the sequence is not established, time is not born. Like when we go to sleep, event entered sleep. Thereafter, no event. And when we get up, first thing what we do, we want to see how long I have been sleeping. See? <clears throat> and daytime, lecture began, event. Lecture over, event over. So, oh God, more than one hour, but we are told only one hour. Therefore, sequence creates illusion of time. Expanse creates illusion of space. That is why it is said here that evam sva kalpita akasha grastam yat chid sitam. So the conscious reality is chidakasha. From chidakasha come the chittakasha. From the chittakasha come the bhutakasha. One after another. One Mahatma was asked by a person who has studied Vedanta. When we study Vedanta, taking books in the hand and by our own way, because I know Sanskrit, this is what happens. So he went to a Mahatma and asked, Maharaji, in our scriptures it is said that the world is created in so many different ways. Somewhere there are only three Bhutas. Chandadvi Upanishad. Somewhere there are five Mahabhutas. <coughs> Somewhere they say that the world was created only uh, Sa Ikshata. He thought and by his thought the world came out. Sometimes it is said that the world is created in a sequence. So the Mahatman said, don't tell me so many things I get confused. Ask me one. Okay? If I know, I'll tell you. 
because those who know, they do not know how much to tell. All vomition, when you vomit, you don't select, is it not? <laughs> so, he says, <coughs> Tasmad Atmanaha Akasha Sambhutaha Akasha Vayu Vayu Ragne Agne Rabad Vyaprade Go slow. I'm, no, I don't have this to slow. One by one, he said, Tasmad, huh? Atmanaha, huh? Akasha, ha, Stop here. <coughs> now, what is Akasha? What is the space? Space is nothing. So, what does it mean? From Paramatma, nothing is produced. Relax. But we take this akasha as an object. See? And that it is not when we try to comprehend with our faculties. All illusions happen. Therefore, the blue sky, only illusion, not real. Therefore, <clears throat> tadeva mana ityuktam atma naya evahi itarat. Therefore, the chida, chida akasha alone become the Chitta Kasha. Then Chitta Kasha alone become the Bhuta Kasha. And Bhuta Kasha alone is the contents. So there is but one reality which has as if become many. <coughs> so Tadeva Mani Tyuktam Atmaiva Nahi Jetar Tatra Avran Mukhyatva Pramanam Mana Uchate. But this mind is now covering the consciousness. Now see. How it is covering? <coughs> it is something like this. The waves cover the ocean. Means what? We are looking at the ocean, but we talk about the waves. Oh, too many waves today. Very, very rough ocean. So, our attention is on the waves, then we forget the ocean. And then, when we jump into the ocean, we are jumping in the water, but we call it as an ocean. So, waves are covering the ocean, ocean is covering the water. Where is the cover? It is not there, it is in our understanding. Like, if I keep my finger in, uh, in, in front of your face, I don't cover your whole face. But if I keep the finger near my eye, then your whole body is covered. Then I will say, see, you are covered by my finger. Your finger is so small. How can it cover the whole body? Don't we say, the clouds have covered the sun. What is the size of the clouds? And what is the size of the sun? So actually, the clouds are covering our vision, not the sun. Because in the clouds are seen in the light of the same sun, which is covered. The more we become clear in our understanding, then we come to know that Tatra Avrana Mukhyatvat Pramanam Manavuchate. So this mind covers the consciousness. <clears throat> and the mind is covered by the thoughts. And thoughts are created because of the objective importance. When the objects are dropped, you have conquered the sense organs. When the sense organs are dropped, you have conquered the mind. When the mind is dropped, you have reached the consciousness. Like when we remove the cover, first remove the tarpaulin, then remove the blanket, then remove the bed sheet, then we remove the bed cover, and then we remove a very thin cloth. Like that, is it removing one by one? Then to know 
it was never covered. To see the ocean, do we have to remove the waves? To see the gold, do we have to melt the ornaments? No. Then the names and the forms and the utility is becoming secondary, then the gold is revealed. In the same manner, worldly experiences, good and bad, when they are secondary, then experience, which is non specific, is revealed. Therefore, the cover of the consciousness by the mind is like this. Therefore, when the <coughs> contents of the mind are emptied, empty mind is consciousness. And what are the contents of the mind? Illusions, taking to be real. The notion that I am the body, these are the contents. It is just a notion. It is not real. Therefore, tatra avrana mukhyatvat pramanam mana uchate na avruta pradhan netastu pramata jiva uchate. So there are two things now. Consciousness covered by the mind and in this mind is important and consciousness covered by the mind in that the covered consciousness is important. Now put these three, two things together. It is something like man but a plus the covering of the wife is called as husband. Now in this, who is given importance? If wife is given importance, he will be perpetually miserable husband. If he gives importance to the man, although he is playing the role of the wife, a husband, he will not be miserable. So when we give importance to the upadhis, he is a jiva. And when we give importance to the conditioning as the instruments, then it is a prakriti. So mind is an instrument and experiencer is the jiva. In this manner, tatra avrana mukhyatvat pramanam mana uchchate, mind is an instrument and avruta pradhanatvat pramata jiva uchchate. Therefore, three things, known, instrument of knowledge and the knower, jiva uchchate. Evam akasha avrutopi chidatma bhoye evatu. In this manner, the Chidatma, the conscious reality, because of the covering of the Akasha, the space, it is like the space. Like what? Akashe, Komale, Atyanta, Shitile, Nirgane, Amale, Katinya, um, Katinya, Klishta, Gharata, Malinya, Adi, Prakalpanayi. So, like in a normal space. Now, what is the space? Space doesn't have hardness. It doesn't have liquidity, it is not hot, it is not moving. All these things are superimposed on the space and the four elements come out. From the space only the air came. What is the space? Space is no movement. What is air? All the movement. Now air by itself is having no temperature. But from that air comes the fire. Fire is not wet. From the fire come the air, waters. Water is liquid. From the liquid comes the solid earth. See? In this manner, from the one conscious existence, this whole world, therefore, Bhutani Avasa Dehatma Dehe Napi Samavrata. Then, 
from these Mahabhutas, then the Deha body etc. is created and by this body the self is con- uh, covered Samavrata Kumbho Dara Gato Disha Udaram Vyapya Bhasate and Deepa it should be Kumbho Dara Gato Deepa Udaram Vyapya Bhasate then what happens like in a pot if there, there is a lamp it will be illuminating the inside of that pot but if that pot has got holes then the light will come out of that in the same manner in this part of the body is the light of consciousness and this light of consciousness is illuminating everything inside therefore we do not do digestion, digestion is happening. We do not do blood circulation, it is happening. Plus, from the holes, the light comes out as sense organs, organs of action. Nana chidra ghato darastita maham deepa prabha bhasvaram jnanam yasyati chakshuradi karna dvara mahispandate Janami titameva bhanta manubhati etat samastam jagat tasmai shri guru murtaye namaidam shri dakshina murtaye. This is the origin from the shloka. Now see what has happened. Paramatma is space because of the jadatva, and this space covers the Paramatma. Then from the space has come the five elements four elements. From the four elements is created the body. So where is Paramatma inside the body? Like, where is the gold? Gold is in the ornaments. Where, where is the water? Where is the water? Water is in the ocean. Is it true? Ocean is in the water. This is called Viparita Buddhi. The upside down. In this manner, in this Paramatma alone, everything is, but because our attention is on the Upadhi, we take, I am inside the body, everything is outside me. So what is outside is the samsara, and what is inside is me. Therefore, in Yoga Shastra, etc., they all the time talk about this only. See, and concentrate on the heart, concentrate on the brumadha in between the eyebrows, then you'll be seeing the light and all that. Because I am inside. Friends, the only way to really walk spiritual path is first step, get rid of body identification. Unless that is achieved, Whatever we might have done till date is only trying to fill in a part which is kept upside down and complaining. Because after body identification alone, the samsara is born. And body identification has no logic, no reason. And therefore, when you are even sitting for a meditation or doing your prayers, there also again you continue with the same, then what sadhana we are doing? Therefore, first step should be very clear. When we sit, immediately get out of the body. When we get out of the body, there is nobody left. When you get out of the relationship between the earth and the moon and the sun, which direction you are? North, east, west, south, where are you? Nowhere. Then Feng Shui will disappear. Then Vastu will forget. Then energy lines. All useless. And 
and you see the beauty i am body is just a notion becoming real after many years of practice now it has to be undone the same way what it is like being other than the body that's all and then insist not that i am other than the body only but aham brahmasmi so we start playing space space then we come to know from the spaces point of view there is nothing like inside or outside everything is in the space there is nothing out of the space in the same manner everything is in me so the contents cannot influence the container this space is me so it doesn't matter what posture you are sitting it doesn't matter what place you are sitting it doesn't matter what time it is <coughs> in this manner कुंभ उदरतः दीप उदरम व्याप्य भासते देन वी विल बी एबल टू गेट रीड ऑफ ऑल द कंडीशनिंग स्लोली स्लोली एंड एष एवेश शरीरांत अभासका मात्रक आस्ते गुड़ प्रदीपात्मा तदंतर मात्रभासनम सो ऑल द थिंग्स आर इलिमिनेटेड इन द लाइट ऑफ this conscious existence deepa prava gada chidra yatha niryati vai bahi evam aksha dwara mukhat bhuyo niryati vai chiti so like from the holes of the pot the light comes out in the same manner from the holes of the body the life comes out then निर्याण तो चितिर्नास्ति पूर्णत्वा अविक्रेत नौ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेस कैनॉट थ्रो एनीथिंग आउट ऑफ इट देर इज वन स्टोरी अबाउट बीरबल एंड अकबर वंस अकबर आज बीरबल यूर गॉड इज ग्रेट और आई एम ग्रेट so birbal said oh king you are great he said yes i know you will say that but on what ground you say that i am great than your king than your god he said look here king if you are angry you can ask somebody to get out of your kingdom but god cannot throw anybody out of his kingdom where he is not so you are great See, you cannot throw out anything out of the space. Exactly. The space is not opposed to anything. This unopposed existence is the truth. Just again and again, repeat it to yourself. We are not against anything. and it is natural to us we don't have to do anything green color red color yellow color black color the eyes are not opposed to any the ears are not opposed to any sound 
the mind is not opposed to any thought. Consciousness is not opposed to waking, dream, deep sleep or samadhi. Being unopposed is our natural state. The moment we start opposing, abnormality comes in. Therefore, niryanam tu chitir nasti purnatvad avikriyatvadaha. Therefore, svatma varadam akasham spurti shakti chidatmanaha. Javan nivaraye tavan niryanam niryanam pradivavasate manavyapara evasyad purtya apavrti avrate. Therefore, consciousness doesn't go and come anywhere. It is the mind which is coming and going. That which is included in the mind exists. That which is not included in the mind doesn't exist. But whether something is existing or not existing, consciousness is there. Conscious reality cannot exclude anything. Therefore, when something is coming and going, manavyapara eshasyat, spurtya apahvrti avrate. Therefore, this is only manavyapara it is only the transaction of the mind that this mind is alone covering or not covering the conscious reality. Tasmadrama mano na anyat atma eva mano uchate. Therefore, mind is none other than the atma because atma expressing in relativity is the mind. Therefore, husband is none other than the man. Before becoming the husband, a man was there. After he became the husband, he is still there. After the wife goes away, he continues to be there. So, Atma, the man is the reality and the husband is also the man. But only he has given importance to the Anatma Bhava, to the matter. And therefore, consciousness is reduced to mind, man is reduced to husband. So, Manu Vyapara Evasyat, Tasmadrama Mano Nanet, Atma Iva Mano Uchate, Chala Chitir Mano Nani Nishchala Swatma Rupini. Therefore, consciousness with the movement is called as mind, and mind without movement is called as consciousness. Water with the shape is called as the ice, ice without the shape is called as water. Now, how simplest it could be? When objectivity is predominant in our knowledge, we are living in mind. When subjectivity is predominant in our in our knowledge, then we are the seekers. When both subject and object disappear, we have merged in the self. See? This is object samsara. I know this is the object Mahasamsar. Whether the object is there or not, it makes no difference. A seeker. And when even this talking ends, will the ocean get hurt when the waves break? No. Will the water have the ego, I am the ocean? No. When the body identification is dropped, all hurting is over. And when this Jiva Bhava is dropped, we are one with the Self. And therefore, those who are abiding in the Self, they never get insulted. Because they are not special. That is what I have been emphasizing again and again. Spiritual life is not becoming someone special. We have to discard all the speciality. Be commoner than the commonest. So, 
चला चितिर मनो नामनी निश्चला सात्म रूपिणी आवृत्य बिहती स्फूर्तिया चलनम राम वही जीते है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस आवृत्ति दवरिंग बाय द माइंड इट अपियर्स दैट बिकॉज ऑफ स्फुरना द थ्रॉब द माइंड चैतन्य द चिति स्टार्स मूवमेंट ए तदेव विकल्प चार विकल्प परिवर्जने देर फोर थॉट्स आर नथिंग बट दिस मूवमेंट इन द कॉन्शियसनेस द मूवमेंट दिस मूवमेंट इन द कॉन्शियसनेस इज सस्पेंडेड दिस इज वॉट इज कॉन्ड एज निर्विकल्प समाधि द मूवमेंट मीन्स डोंट टेक मूवमेंट मीन्स मूवमेंट मूवमेंट मीन्स वॉट गिविंग ऑप्शन like we have options about everything in this world now it is a day it is not a night now it is morning it is not evening now we are in australia we are not in london see now we are old we are not young now i am man not a woman options but this option do we have i am or i am not when i am not option is not possible is it necessary to say i am this non optional presence सर्व विकल्प वर्जने सो इन दिस वी आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग ओनली रिमेनिंग अवेयर दैट वी हैव नो ऑप्शन टू बी और नॉट टू बी एंड देयर फॉर इवन टू से आई एम इज रॉन्ग वेन आई एम नॉट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज समथिंग लाइक दैट nobody calls me a woman and i know i am a man do i have to go and again and again insist look here i am a man okay i am not a woman don't you see my beard i am a man so nobody is doubting you man why you are telling in the same manner no mahatma will doubt that you are a sinner no you are divine see therefore when mahatmas look at us they look at parmatma when we look at the mahatmas we look at chitatma <laughs> see the difference therefore uh, avrutya bihati spurtya chalanam ram avijite he etadeva vikalpasya vikalpa parivarjane nirvikalpam purna rupam vidyanam mukti namakam and when we thus give up this vikalpa this option whether i am or i am not whether i am in bondage or i am liberated this vikalpa rahita anubhuti this non optional experience is liberation that is what we have been telling again and again give yourself minimum choice lesser the choice we give nearer we are to the reality more the choice we give we are going away from ourselves तो एक विकल्प सैद विकल्प परिवर्जने निर्विकल्प पूर्ण रूप विज्ञान मुक्ति नामक राम त्यज अत्र संदेह विकल्प से विवर्जने अभी आवरण दोष सैदी नास्ती व चावृति आवृतिर्न ही सत्यास्ती यदा स्वेन विकल्पिता नौ अगेन फर्दर इज टोल्ड दैट निर्विकल्प परिपूर्ण विज्ञान मुक्ति साधन नामक so the thought free non optional experience infinite experience is liberation ram tejatra sandeha 
नाउ हे परशुराम जी रिमेम्बर इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग गेट आउट दिस डाउट फ्रॉम युअर माइंड वॉन्ट विकल्प असते विवर्जने यू डोंट हॅव टू डू एनिथिंग टू रिमूव द विकल्प बिकॉज देर इज नो विकल्प वॉट विल यू रिमूव But just now you said yes. We said. <laughs> If there is something you can remove, but where is the vehicle? Pa? See, and therefore, api avrad dosha sandhiti naste va chavruti. And similarly, the consciousness is covered by the mind. It is also not there. See. can we say that the ocean was covered earlier by the waves but after realization now the ocean is not covered or the water was covered by the ocean but now the water is not covered are dumbo it was never covered we are never miserable we are never jeeva we are divine therefore you don't become realize you are देर फॉर दिस नोशन ई द वन देर फॉर आवृत्ति नहीं सत्य आती बॉन्डेज आवरण कवरिंग ऑफ द रियालिटी विथ द इग्नरस इज नॉट रियल यथ स्वे नैव कल्पिता बिकॉज स्वे नैव कल्पिता वी हैव ओनली इमेजिंड इज इट नॉट ऑल ऑफ अस डू द सेम थिंग वी ओनली इमेजिन आई एम वेरी अनलकी यू आर लकी मैन हु इज टेलिंग all our imagination so if we have to imagine why not do we imagine hey i am happy try and is a question of only understanding nobody is miserable we don't miss anybody in this world is only saying oh ani darling i miss you i also say to everybody <laughs> but i don't mean it is <laughs> no meaning in all this nobody misses anybody we don't miss even our own body otherwise we will not go to sleep therefore yatha manorase bandha kena chit chatruna swayam tadyamana tarjamano yavar sankalpa varjanam like that you know somebody is imagining that he is you know surrounded by terrible enemies and they are hitting king and beating him and he is so miserable and actually there is nothing happening you are in our mind all of your imagination so the same mind when it is uncontrolled imagination leads to misery when controlled imagination it leads to liberation both are imagination i am body i am jeeva is imagination aham brahmasmi super imagination when something like the uh, disease germs they are foreign body medicine is also a foreign body so the first foreign body is fought out by the second foreign body both of them go out health remains See? therefore what the doctors do they remove the disease this is when the dis is discarded is remains is is health that is why tyage neki amrutatva manashu remaining we we'll see it tomorrow पूर्णमदिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओ